morning. It's uh, so good to see all of you this morning. And this morning we have um, a testimony as well. So this is Testimony Tuesday. So this morning, uh, it's going to be slightly different than what we had last week. Uh, today, we have um, a sister uh, who came to Faith Line. And she, at Faith Line here, as all of you know, we do healing. So every Sunday we have healing. So like last Sunday in the church, even though right now we are at the RMCO, whereby we have to observe physical distancing. So uh, what we did was uh, we had uh, a mass healing. So uh, the lead pastor, Pastor Albert, he was on stage and he just commanded healing from there. And last Sunday, we actually had uh, people who were being healed. So today, we are going to interview uh, Sister Eileen, or rather Sister Eileen. She will come on to share about her experience on how she came to Faith Line, and then she learned how to do healing. And then later, she was being equipped. And then she went to see for herself on all those miracles, signs, and wonders, first-hand experience when she participated in the mission trip to Solo last year. So uh, let us uh, just uh, welcome Sister Eileen. Sister Eileen, are you here? Hi, Sister Eileen. Hello. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor Grace, to invite. Yeah, I'm so excited. Thank you. <laughs> So, Sally, when did you come to Faith Line, yeah? Actually, um, I came to Faith Line, which is in uh, 2018, end of 2018, actually. Um, mm, Christmas, how, right? Yes. How do I drop by to <laughs> Faith Line? Is because I just accompany my friend, one of my friends, who are facing some uh, critical illnesses at that time. Oh. So... That is whereby I just step into fate line. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Then after that, you have not stopped coming. And in fact, uh, you became one of the faithful ones, the faithful worker in the church. <laughs> yes. In fact, because because I'm, I'm really impressed. Impressed ah. in terms of um, not many places that I have been, yeah, ah. that would hurt the pastor mentions that he would like to impart yeah I've, I've been to actually a lot of churches in kl yeah mm. um, but i seldom heard any pastor will say okay i would like to impart this commanding healing for each of every one of you but mm. you can go back to your own perspective church or place or wherever you wanted to go and continue mm. to be a blessing for others and continue to perhaps can teach others to do healing. I was mm -hmm. like, wow, it is pretty generous and I would like to get to know more. <laughs> that is where I keep coming back to learn. And um, it, it is such a warm environment, I would say, that really make me feel uh, comfortable, feel, feel like at home. <laughs> <laughs> so, in fact, right now, it is my spiritual home, my second home. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Then after that, uh, uh, you went to Healing Encounter Ministry Seminars. You went twice. <laughs> wow. Why twice? It's because one is not enough. It's not because of the <laughs> teaching is not enough, but it is the time that we spend together to have those bonding together and at the same time to learn from both you, Pastor Grace, and also Pastor Albert. It was so, so good. Um, it won't be tense. It won't be serious, but it is serious. But but the feeling is totally different because there's a lot of interaction, a, a lot of a lot of uh, practicals, you know, we will, we will teach us to do uh, common healing for each and everyone. And, and I would say it is such a good experience that I wanted to go back on the second time and the third time. And <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I would say the environment is, is pretty interesting, very good and good learning experience. 
Remember yeah. next round? <laughs> For yeah, him, the yeah. Encounter Ministry must, <laughs> must make yourself available <laughs> and yeah. to go in there and really soak into it and learn and take up the authority and do healing. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much, Pastor yeah. Alfred and Pastor Grace, <laughs> for this thank awesome call. <laughs> so that was uh, um, February. Oh, sorry, yeah, February. February was the first one we went to. Then the second was sometime in July, right? Then yeah. after that, we went to Solo City for the mission trip, wasn't it? So, so yeah, I think uh, we have uh, some of the photos that uh, you 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 took when you were in solo yeah with us so before we talk about solo uh to see the photos i mean yeah you want to share a little bit like what what made you wanted to go to solo that time for the mission trip hmm. what really wants me to go to solo yeah in fact um i already could see how to take up the authority to do healing and etc and at the same time, I also believe that uh, every season that we are in, or I am in, there is something for me to learn. Especially with two loving pastors here, and mentions that they wanted to go to Solo City to teach, impart, commanding healing. And um, I feel that uh, it is a great opportunity because I'm a very curious type. All this uh -huh. while, I've been to different other churches and um, I have a question mark, sorry to say it. <laughs> because, because when I read, not, 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 not because of the church is no good, no, 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 no. Uh, what I mean is I personally, I have a little bit of questions that when I read through the book of Acts and I could see that, wow, they are so prophetic. And they can do so much thing, but how about right now? This is my question deep mm. inside my heart mm. throughout the journey in Christ. Mm. So mm. when I step into faith line, I begin mm. to see, wow, mm. really can work, is really can command healing. Mm. And especially go to Solo City, Indonesia. Wow, mm. massive, this is what my own thing, there would be, might be massive healing. Wow, it, it's something that's very supernatural that I wanted to encounter. I wanted to see. <laughs> I wanted to experience it by myself. And, and I do have the um, kind of like uh, uh, feelings who, who really wanted to experience it. And then um, thanks for Pastor to invite. <laughs> Thank you for coming along. <laughs> I was say this 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 trip it is really in in me that God's hand was so 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 real that I no longer <laughs> would yeah. question anything about his power and authority. <laughs> amen and amen. And then that really it was a very interesting time, right? So that was the time that you really could see, you know, greater things shall you do, yeah? So I'm going to share the PowerPoint slide, yeah? The one that we have prepared, you have prepared. Okay, Sister Eileen, why not you walk us through what happened? <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah. Where was this? <laughs> this is where somewhere um on top of the mountain. Yeah, that uh, we I think we have to drive about like one and a half to two hours, right? Mm, yeah. This was uh, I think the pastor pastor manager's place. Pastor yes. manager's place. Yes, 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 yes. So this is your story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my exciting time that um well, yeah, it's still in the airport, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So you can see all the ladies and the men. Pastor Elvin was the only guy there, yeah? <laughs> yes, yes. And then we have our sister Corinne and our sister Jenny's together. And definitely with you also, Pastor Grace. It was such an <laughs> awesome journey together. I mean, it's such an awesome trip, especially with Pastor Albert around. Wow, we learned so much thing. We learned about um, how to uh, memorize books in Bibles and etc. Wow. Praise every God. everywhere that we we just walk along together and then uh, pastors would just impart, impart, impart his knowledge to us. So great and awesome. <laughs> 
Ah, dah, the team. <laughs> yeah, then we saw the local pastors there, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this is Sister Iwanti. Yeah, she's the interpreter, the faithful interpreter for all the services that we were there, yeah? How long yeah. were we there? Uh? Two weeks, right? Was it 10 uh -huh. days? Uh? Two, two weeks, right? Two weeks, two right? Weeks, yeah. Two weeks, yeah. Two weeks. And, and she's actually still working as a lecturer mm -hmm. in all, one of the universities, right? And mm -hmm. uh, she really, really take up her time. Yeah, yeah. To come she... in and, and do the translate and etc. Wow. Right. And all the beautiful pastors and sisters yeah. in Solo City. It's, it's really yeah. making me feel so warm. <laughs> Yeah, so warm, well, right? This is uh, Pastor Hariadi, then Pastor Teddy, and then the local pastors there as well. Yes. Yeah. And some of the other pastors. This was uh, in one of the sessions whereby we were there to train the local pastors on how to do healing. Yeah, so this was the equipping session. Yeah. Right, and then uh, behind Sister I Iwarti, right? Behind yeah, Sister, Sister Iwarti. Iwarti. Yeah. Uh, and beside that, beside this lady ah uh, yes this yes, lady yes in ah. fact uh, she told me that um she's having some issue of woman ah the, because of the bullet flow ah non-stop bleeding is it yes and at that time she is very 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 worried and sad mm. yeah mm. and then after the commanding healing Mm. Nothing happened <laughs> on the first day, but uh, on the second day, the blood flow to stop totally. Yeah, she she had this blood flow for years, right? For many yes. years, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So sometimes God's healing it take immediate effect. Some were gradually. So anyway, don't doubt. <laughs> this is right, what I learned. Right. Don't doubt. And because of her story, it's it's remind me back of you know the, the woman who are having the, the issue, issue of, blood. of the blood. I was deep inside my heart, I was thinking, wow God, you are so real. Everything that I have written Bibles and, and being you know having question mark, you, you really reveal one by one. So awesome. And that is whereby <laughs> my faith is like even wow. <laughs> I think this mind. was the first few meetings that we had, right? So God sent her to increase her faith, Sister Eileen. Hallelujah. <laughs> this is the wife of Pastor Agus. Pastor Agus. Pastor Agus came to Malaysia in 2017, I think. Yeah, 2017, I think. No, I'm not, I couldn't remember. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So she came to encourage you, Sister Eileen. <laughs> I mean, praise praise the Lord that um, whatever whatever doubt that we have, yeah, just just seek Him directly, and He will really reveal. But just be patient <laughs> when the time is right. Yeah, this is also yeah. I have learned because I've been having a lot of questions for many 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 years. <laughs> uh... I'm so sorry, a confession time. <laughs> <laughs> but doesn't mean that I don't believe. Uh, it's just that I wanted to get to know more. Is it real? Can I see it in my real life? I only read, but can I experience true enough? So this is one of the things that I have really encountered and and really opened up my eyes of understanding. Praise the Lord. Praise yeah, really, Lord. thank you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise oh, the Lord. There you go. Praising God. <laughs> This was at the village church in the kampung there, right? Yes, I would say at this moment, this this church when we when the moment that we arrive, yeah, when we get up from the car, or well, already can sense, wow, I could hear, wow, everyone, you know, praying, worshiping in tongues, in song, in especially in yeah. uh, uh, bahasa song, and it feels so warm. Maybe because of um, we are Malaysian, or I, I'm in a Malay at. at yeah, Malay ads. So um, can f can feel that wow, it's like it's 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 like still in Malaysia, like. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's already in Indonesia, like. 
yeah. yeah. The, the atmosphere when they worship together and really well, one of the pastor that wow can really worship. You no, know, he was jumping and singing and praying. Wow, bring down the presence of God. So tangible. Yes. Yeah, so yes. interesting. The right. hunger Thanks. for the Lord was so tangible there, right? So you know, when it's just yeah, you're right. You know, I remember now when the car stopped right outside the house there, then we had to go through a small door to enter, remember? Then we had a small door there. So wow, this atmosphere is different. <laughs> God is so good. God just came down that night. Praise the Lord. Yeah. yeah. There you go. You are so surprised. <laughs> We see the Corey. Very high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of us, you know, when you went for mission, when you go for mission trip like this, right? You just mix with the locals there. And then it's so amazing that you are worshiping one God, the same God, you know, and all of us in different tongues, we just worship him in one accord. So it's wonderful. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, it's such a <laughs> Fun. I mean, also, it's very fun, <laughs> yeah. very enjoyable moment when when, when yeah. I saw all this picture. It's, it's really like bring back all the sweet memories. <laughs> I think it's almost exactly one year ago, isn't it? Yeah. That was July. <laughs> it is. Yeah. There, there, we had this. You're doing healing. This was, I think, the church is Surabaya. Yes, yes. Ah, this is a city Surabaya. church, Surabaya. Yeah, yeah. So this is what happened. Usually uh, after we uh, preach a sermon, then we'll open the floor for those who are sick to come forward. So you can see all those people who are sitting here. Then Sister Eileen is here, ministry healing. Yeah. So everyone will just speak to the diseases and command the diseases to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. There you see. Yeah. <laughs> it's Alice Kori walking around to make sure that everyone know how to do it. <laughs> really, 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 I would say it, um, unforgettable moment. <laughs> you yeah. see, a lot of things that we know, a lot of pastors can teach, can preach, can impart a lot of things, but if we did not practice or put into practice and put it into as a lifestyle of you know Christianity practice, and we might not able to do it. So mm. in faith line, it's not only give encourage us to give us platform and encourage us to go out to to command healing for others. In fact, it does also teach us how to be facilitator too. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? <laughs> So, yes, yes. brother and sister, <laughs> I urge all of you, if you have a chance, please <laughs> follow Pastor Albert and Pastor Grace <laughs> to mission trip next year, or perhaps, yeah, I think this year yeah, it's we're, difficult we're out. <laughs> next year. It, mm -hmm. it will yeah. really, really will be a very awesome moment. You not only can learn can see miracles upon miracles and they will also impart to you with things that continuously teaching and impart whatever they know. It was so generous, both of you. Thank you so much, Pastor Chris and Pastor Albert. It's, uh, the, it's from the Lord. It's from the Lord. We learned from Amen. Pastor William. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Then you see, she's like, I need doing healing yeah, on the ground there. So, Whenever the the uh, the locals right, we have trained them on how to do healing. Then our trained disciples, like Sister Eileen, the Curry, the Janice, they go around to make sure that they are doing that. You see, so they will just uh make sure that they are raising, uh, they are laying hands correctly, and then they have to open their eyes. Yeah. Wow, uh -huh. it is it is awesome, and over here that that I mean not only this church. All the churches that yeah, um, I follow about you go to. Wow, it is miracle upon miracle. Until I do not know how to react. <laughs> it was so overwhelming. <laughs> Until I have no reaction. I know, I know, I know. When there's no healing, then you, hey, what happened, ah? Uh? <laughs> 
I'm a Danish I was like, oh, praise the Lord. Thank you. Using, using each of everyone over here. I was like, wow, it is awesome. Praise God. Thanks. Praise God. Yeah. There you see, Sister Eileen, what are you doing here? <laughs> Not enough of hands, more hands. <laughs> You see our sister healing, she's so full of faith, you know, yeah? One person healing two at one go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see this wife here, Sister Eileen. Yeah, perhaps that, that, that is also the time, is it? <laughs> yeah, I think so, I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you see, when you have faith, you can do like this, you see. So the power flow from one way is from God to his creation. So that's never from the other way, whereby from the patient to you. No, 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 no. You are just a vessel of God. So you stretch out your hand in the power and authority that Christ has given you. So the power flows one way from you to the patient. Yeah. Amen. So that's why Sister Ellie is doing two hands, two power. <laughs> Last time, I only thought that pastor can do healing and, you know, show signs and miracle. <laughs> but after, you know, attending Faith Line <laughs> and also, you know, Ham twice, Healing yeah. Encounter Ministry, and especially <laughs> seeing all this miracle, I also, wow. You can see that the faith is like increased. Like, okay, both hand. I just use my hand. <laughs> Lord, it's I'm God. here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for encouraging. But at the same time, also encourage them as well because I can understand that first timer, maybe we think that you yeah, are scared and etc. Yeah. Mm. So, those of you who really wanted to learn uh, healing, mm. perhaps can consider faith line. <laughs> <laughs> so all of us are together, but right now we cannot do uh, lay hand, laying hand lies, see? Eh? But uh, we also do um, commanding healing, yeah. From a distance, yeah. Mas yeah, this from the distance. Yeah. <laughs> it still work. It still work. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank and you. then here you see Sister Eileen yeah, on stage. So after every session, after we have done healing, we will check with the patient, are you healed, yeah? Yeah, so Sister Ali was asking from the stage there, asking the people, have you been... So how is it? How is it? Is it 100% healed or not? <laughs> you see, just so that I mentioned, right, not only, you know, practicals that we can lay hands and, and do command healing, you know, not only to become, uh, you know, learn to become, how to become facilitator, also... <laughs> Yeah. And, and our pastor also, both of you so generous to teach me how to um, get reports from others to see whether they get healed or not. I mean, this is what that I have never encountered before. <laughs> so the feeling was like overwhelmed. <laughs> Overwhelming kind of joy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Sister Janice is here helping, yeah. Yeah, you see, everyone is put to work during the mission trip. <laughs> yes. Come for the next are one. Co-laborers in the uh, harvest field. Amen. Amen. <laughs> There you go. I just started checking with them. <laughs> yeah, and, and each one of them can look from the stage and look through their face, their their gesture and their reaction, mm. and, and they are like so surprised that they, 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 they feel that hey, there is no more pain. Hey, I can see clearer. Yeah. Hey, I can hear better. Yeah. Wow. A lot and of then people... the knee pain healed, back pain healed, headache gone, you know, nauseating yeah. feeling all gone. All these things that we thought that, you know, we can just take some paracetamol or some medicine to cure it, right? But when the power of God comes, all this pain, all these diseases, infirmities, they just disappear. Yeah. Amen. Oh and and I used to, I mean, just, <laughs> I mean, compassion time. I used to think, I used to, when I just um, become, um, accepted Christ, I was, when I just become, became uh, Christians, I do attend this kind of like healing before. And mm. I saw those people who raise up their hands and give testimony. Mm. But deep inside my heart, when I'm sitting at back, yeah, mm. are you sure not? Is it a <laughs> ah. <laughs> But at that moment on stage, when I saw their face change, 
you know, like full of excitement, full of joy. I say, I repent, Lord. Thank you for showing me. <laughs> <laughs> that the healing really happened, yeah. Healing is real. It is yeah. not only pastor. I would say one thing good <laughs> that attend um have yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and also yeah. faith like that uh, both of you, Pastor Grace and Pastor Albert, keep on encouraging and affirm us not only pastor or evangelist or or those big guy <laughs> can yeah. command healing. Each of every one of you or us, you know, or, or me, you know, can can do it. So it is the presence of God who do the healing through us. We keep on repeating and repeating and repeating into our ears. It's, it's like give us a lot of assurance and encourage us to have the faith to go out and really lay our hand and just command. Thank yeah. you. In fact, every Sunday in our church, uh, the healing is uh, mostly done by those trained disciples, right? <laughs> so, yeah, the ones who do the healing. So the pastors will be like, no, meeting the new people or doing counseling or ministering to someone privately. But the healing at the altar is done by our trained disciples. So if you have been healed by the Lord, you can come forward and you can heal the rest as well. Yeah. Amen. So God can use you. Yeah. So, so it's for the body ministry right now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So here, uh, that's Sister Eileen encouraging people. Yeah. We see everyone be there. Yeah. Uh, what happened here, Sister Eileen? Wow. This uncle, Pachi, mm. yeah. He had watery eyes. That's why you can see there is two handkerchief over his eyes because it's keep on like tearing kind of thing. And then just command healing as what Pastor Grace and Pastor Albert taught, yeah, and mm -hmm. preach over the pulpit. Mm -hmm. His eyes instantly healed. Mm -hmm. It was like everyone was so amazed, like wow. Mm -hmm. It, the, the presence of God, I mean, the commanding healing, as long as we are a child of God, that when we hold upon Christ's authority to command healing, the miracles healing took place, yeah? Praise the Lord. And here is another one, deaf, mute. This young girl, deaf and mute. So you will lay hands on her throat area there, right? Because uh, she couldn't speak. Throat and ears as well. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And this this one is also something, wow, I do not know how to describe. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of events happen. It's like overwhelming. Actually, she's not the only one that... Uh, yeah. Who is uh, mute? Yeah. Death mute. Yeah. Death mute. Yeah. There's also another gentleman that Pastor Albert um, uh, command healing for. Yeah. Has been deaf and mute like for for forty years or something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he was born. He was born as um. He was born mute, isn't it? Yeah, that one. I think we have the photo somewhere. We have to put it up later. Yeah. So maybe later we can put up on the Faithline Facebook page and you get have a look at that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That that guy is quite senior right now. Mm, mm. Yeah. And um he, he got healed and because of that. When I saw it and then my fate also arise. So <laughs> wow, praise and, God. Uh, this is what you know. Uh, what I see from Pastor I learned. <laughs> and Pastor <Good> action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I here you see. That. Yeah, I think we have the Hallelujah. Yes. Okay. Lagi satu sekali ya. Lagi. Command this vocal cord. I command this vocal cord to be healed. To be healed. I command this mouth. I command this mouth to be open. To be open. 
the spirit of darkness, spirit of darkness you, go, you go no place no place in this child of God. In this child of God. Be healed. Be healed. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Be restored. Be restored. To good health. To good health. Okay. Uh, Gaja. Gaja. Harima. 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 Hari. Mom. <laughs> okay, like like this again. Huh? Uji. 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 Pu. Pu. Uji. Check up. Uji Tuhan. Tuhan. <laughs> okay. Praise God. Yeah, uh, isn't it awesome <laughs> how God's work? So this this is Pastor Albert, yeah, <laughs> and mm. um, encourage others so much. Mm. Well, I would yeah. say it is it is awesome experience, and I, I can't wait. In fact, <laughs> really can't wait for uh, end of the year that there will be mission trip, right? But I don't think so. It happens, so I, I'm looking forward for next year. <laughs> We do it in the church, yeah? <laughs> and in church on site, you know, and in church online, yeah, we are going to see miracles happening because greater things shall you do. Amen. Amen. <laughs> even though even though in, in, in feed line, actually there is a few people they, they really totally heal from cancer. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. And yeah. even though in feed line, I could see a lot, a lot of people get healed. Mm. And some of them, they go to tell um, other sisters or brothers and uh, uh, um, tell Pastor Albert and <laughs> Pastor Chris sometimes come and say, oh, you hear so and so, you know, we're having finger trip or whatsoever and then neck pain or whatsoever. I say, you see, you see, oh, thank you, thank you, Pastor, for teaching us. We just lay ahead. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, Sister Eileen, after this session, after this solo trip, when you came back, were you doing healing? I mean, did you go out to heal people by yourself? Wow, as bold as lion. <laughs> no ah. longer, no longer like before. It is really increased my faith. And knowing that how to, you know, Pastor, you 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 both of you keep on um, reminding us how to uh, take up the power and authority. Yeah. So what happened is this friend of mine. She called me up and said that her husband right now in critical um, condition and sent to hospital. Wow, when I reached there, I saw his countenance is, is like pale and, and his eyes is like flipping up already, um, quite dry, but not until get hard kind of thing. And when we look at his face, knowing that very critical. But because of after all this training, just command healing, not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit saves a lot of holes. <laughs> so when I command healing, I could see his continent change and his eyes back to, you know, getting back the moisture and etc. And and I just have those peace and I just look at him and smile. And in fact, um, he wake up the next day. A lot, a lot, a lot of testimony. I Praise mean, God. if any one of you would have question, drop by to Fate Line and see by yourself and learn by yourself. Praise <laughs> this the is Lord. what I could say because our time is limited. I can't, you know, express so much of my <laughs> gratefulness. The joy and, that is bubbling in you right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And and there's a lot of miracle. And uh, in fact, um. One, I met up with one of my old friends actually, and then the, what happened is there's also someone's around, and this this brother um legs is not um, really feeling well. I can tell that when he walk a little bit of like limping, and then just I just said, uh, brother, do you mind I pray for you? You're having leg pain, right? <laughs> oh. He said, yeah, sure. I'll just lay my hand <laughs> and just pray. <laughs> Even though right now when I go to go to buy food and 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 I saw someone who walked limping and etc. I just asked them, you're having difficulty, you have leg pain or whatsoever, can I pray for you? I mean the it's no longer like before, just 
just shy away, keep quiet or have doubt. For me right now, after all this training <laughs> and practice, wow, it's totally different. Commanding healing, it is just like a lifestyle <laughs> for yeah. brethren, yeah, for, for anyone in Christ. So yeah. I urge any one of you who would like to see and learn more, come and experience by yourself. In fact, just like you mentioned, that when you go out and visit people or you go out and buy things, you see someone is in pain, you automatically will do that, right? And then when you do that, you can see that opens a conversation. You have a chance to share the love of God with that person. Because when you stretch out your hand and you lay hands, you just say pray. I mean, we are Asians. We are from Eastern Asian religion here. Who of our friends that who do not want to be prayed for everyone wants to be prayed in fact uh, they love to get as many prayers as possible right so now the thing is that we need to make a distinction that uh, i can pray for you in the name of jesus christ but when you stretch out your hand you actually command healing so when you command healing and the miracles happen and then you have an opportunity to share about this is the only way back to the Father. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life. So Amen. you get to share about why did Jesus come to, sh uh, to shed his blood for us. So all these are ways that we can evangelize and God will move because he loves the souls of the people. Yeah. Amen. Praise it's true. God. Thank you. Thank you so much for being so generous, Pastor Grace, and also Pastor Albert, and also all the pastors in Faith Line as well. Really, really I, I mean, I, I said I, I really learned a lot and uh, really align my faith. I would say, ah, no words to phantom, but really, I'm <laughs> grateful. Hallelujah. <laughs> so now, Sister Eileen, we look forward to disciple many more others. Yeah. Amen. So you're going to disciple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in fact, in fact, when I go to um um uh, when I when I when I paid a visit to, uh, Kuching. Uh, in Kuching, yeah, you went to Kuching, yeah, yeah, yeah. I told Pastor Grace yes. and Pastor Albert about it, and you guys are so generous. Thank you so much. Even provide me the slides. And you went to train. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Wow. Hey, is it? Wow. It has to be and, done that way. <laughs> and and they are so overwhelmed. Because why? Because they really could see those really having pain, you know, that the pain is gone and um it is also increased their faith. Even though they they, they have missing dogs and also command them to come back. Really come back. What? Well, can you, you mean the sister had a missing dog? and commanded and the dog came home Cat came home by itself after a week dog which is after commanding and then she find a picture someone post in fb and they go and get it we also commands that you know that someone will recognize the dog and put into you know any contact and able to trace him it's like oh. awesome and then there's another uh, so-called um, businessman also mentions that you know they are having difficulty i mean just a com normal conversations you see mm -hmm. saying that you know having difficulty for collection and etc you know uh, the kind of clients refuse to pay it doesn't mean that they don't have but actually they're doing very well and etc then you say don't worry come let's come on here <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> I'm sorry. Um, okay, okay. I, I, should, I, I have to behave a little bit. So really command command payment. You see, oh. this is something that cannot phantom. What happened is when we when we just do it just by a simple faith, it seems to be silly. We command it during lunchtime. In the evening, when he went to one of the um, dinner events. He saw one of the debtor, and this guy walk over, and then having a small talk, a small conversation. Later on, he asked this businessman to send someone come and collect check from him. Ooh. 
Can you imagine? Wow. We was like, what? Wow. Really take up the power and authority of Christ. <laughs> Amen. Everything is possible, but 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 don't simply go and command others to give you money. Like, you know what I'm trying to say is, <laughs> yeah, this is whereby the faith is is like increased so 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 much different. Really, thank you so much, and yeah. thank you so much for all all your teaching and generosity to impart, and really makes Praise my life so 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 different. <laughs> And feel with so much joy as well. Praise thank the you Lord. once again. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> Praise God. So that we is our. You all. <laughs> yeah, we can see in you all. Life. Yeah, and in fact, this Thursday we're going to have our faith line, uh, morning power chat line, and then you can also join Delta Cell meetings on Friday nights, and then Saturday you can join the Bible study, then Sunday come to church and worship the Lord. Yeah, because yeah. all these blessings flow from Him. <laughs> Yes, actually, I really wanted to thank Pastor Grace and Pastor Albert for your both of your time and so diligently, especially during MCO. Both of you consistently to 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 pull each of every one of us into this community in Zoom. Ah, uh, yeah, we have a Zoom community now, yeah. <laughs> but because of all this, right? We being grounded and rooted and soak into his presence and really our confidence in him is increased while others, a lot of others who are soaked in fear, uncertainty. And I, I, I really have heard a lot of people having anxiety attack during that time because of bombarded with too much of negativity while well, for us in the zoom fate line zoom community like you know tuesday thursday alternate wednesday yeah yeah <laughs> and then some of some more some of we have homo latte and i've trained my past <laughs> on thursday and friday alternate we have cell you know it's like saturday bible study sunday worship how to depress <laughs> And now, oh. Kingdom People book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really, really, I would say that in part to us about the Word of God, so, so, so real, I would say, so real that that really could relate to. And this time, I would say it's uh, not because, if it's not because of both of your diligence work, I mean, a lot of the brethren in our faith liner <laughs> also so in fear. <laughs> but because of this, oh, we feel so peace, so calm, not so much affect, even though business is really affected, even though career is really affected, but we will not allow fear or anxiety to creep in. This is most important. And also the, our faith in Christ is more rooted. Yes. Not yes. easily to be, you know, <laughs> wait and yeah. fall. Thank correct, you. Thank correct. you so much. <laughs> I, just, I, I have no word to say, but just say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise God, praise God. God is good, yeah. God just gave us this kind of strength. And seriously, it's like uh it's a joy to see our brothers and sisters uh growing, yeah. And then we walk together in this journey on earth here. We are all fellow pilgrim uh pilgrims, yeah, on this journey on earth here. So Amen. that is just for each other on. Amen. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> Praise keep God. up, keep keep it up, keep it up. <laughs> really, really yeah, touch and impact yeah. a lot of life. Thank you. Yeah, praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. So that's all for this morning testimony Tuesday. So this is Pastor Grace signing off, and this is the Eileen. So we'll see you on Thursday. Bye. See you. Bye. <laughs>